requested race driving. This came out in 1990 by Atari Games. So this video, I'm gonna be zoomed into the screen. You're not even gonna see the marquee. I'll show you why in a second. But first I'm gonna play race driving panorama. This is because this is one that probably a lot of people don't know about. It was a prototype, so never actually got released. But I think it's really cool. And this is the reason I'm playing this zoomed in. So see, it's a triple monitor setup here. This is the I played that one as a kid, the one with the single screen. Never got this. You never even saw one of these panoramas, but I think it's so cool. So I made okay. So it may not have been correctly dumped. I took the marquee and made this bezel. So if you're a supporter, you can have access to this if you want this this bezel. And so you can see the triple monitors right here. And that's why I'm zoomed in. There's no reason to see a marquee on top when I already have the marquee here. So see, see race driving panorama. I went into the video options and uh, was messing with some of this stuff. Like I like to do gapless a lot of times, but when I did left to right gapless, it made that screen, it put that screen all the way on the left. So I'm not sure how you could make this gapless, which would make the screens closer together. I do that on other games like like Darius and uh, you know like X Men six player shit like that. All right, so oh yeah, the um, the default sensitivity steering wheel sensitivity was way too high, it made it very hard to control. So I went into here and make sure. So you start steering wheel sensitivity is at twenty five. It defaulted to four hundred. Way too sensitive. This game's already very hard like, and hard to control. Especially if you try to use a joystick. If you try to use a joystick, good luck. I'm going to use my spinner. Uh, so, let's go. Um, stock car track, super stunt. I guess we're going to do super stunt track. It might be a little too loud. And we're going to go to this. Sportster auto transmission. It's not that good enough. There's some, there's some like scratchy audio sometimes. I don't know if it's that's how it was. It was just not perfectly emulated. So to start, you're gonna want to tap your start button. Now I'm gonna hold the accelerator pedal. Now I'm using my spinner right now. And this shit, I'm already off road. This uh. I think because it's a triple monitor setup and I'm using HLSL and the computer I'm using isn't isn't super great. I think it's dropping some frames, but this game is a slow frame rate game as it is. So it's hard to tell. Because the game already already was choppy, even in the arcade. Alright. I'm gonna try to stay on the road. I think this right here is a drop off. So if you have a better, I need to, what I need to do is make a better computer, build a better computer for, uh, for main, better CPU, better GPU. Cause the one that um, Extreme Home Arcades gave, oh, this is the drop off. See, if I go off there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking crash. The one they gave me in 2016, Jesus Christ, it's a lot of shit. I just, I thought maybe I'd, I thought maybe I'd recover from that. I gotta turn the key. The computer they gave me from 20, 2016, it's not up to these types of games. And uh, especially like, a lot of, a lot of 3D games, nah. So I've just been lazy about, uh, you know, I have no problem building a new computer, but setting up all the like software. Oh god, that's a big pain in the ass. But maybe I could just transfer the hard drives to a new computer and it would just work. I don't know. I I, I figure it would be a big fucking hassle. There'd be all these issues, like software issues. I mean. Can I make it to this jump? Oh 
Oh, please, can I make it to this job? That's, and here's another problem with this panorama. Let me show you. If you, you know, I like to use cheats. Cheats sometimes. There are no cheats for this game as it didn't work the last time it was tested. If the game now works, please request cheats on the cheat forums. So, so I can't even cheat, like to get infinite time or something. Let's go to original track, I guess. go to the stunt track. This definitely does feel choppier than normal. Like regular race driving or hard driving or whatever. Which you'd expect because it's three screens. Emulating triple monitors and it's, you know, 3D graphics. Oh god. Please. Okay, we, we stayed. We stayed alive. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh god, stay on the road. This, this is, um, so much easier with a spinner, with a, uh, joystick. Oh my god. It was impossible. Oh shit. Okay, we made it. Now what is this? And checkpoint. Oh no. Oh. Did I did I wreck hitting the ground first and then I hit the car? Alright. Come on, get the checkpoint. Continue at least. Shit. Well, let's turn wheels to look better. Step on gas pedal to choose. Uh, whatever. Okay, if I say N, would you potentially give me a continue? No. Uh, were there dip switches? There are dip switches. Wait a second. What's in here? Nothing good. I mean, I don't know if in service mode if there's if there's a way to get, get continues. I don't feel like... Uh, well, see, I'm going to leave this and go play race driving in a second. I made a bezel for that, too. And I'm using the same fade screen. Uh, let me hit F2. Let's just see what happens. Hold key. I don't. I, yeah, I want to. I want to bypass the self test, please. Okay, operator screen. Do I need to use the wheel? Oh, I forgot. I forgot what. Okay, so so sometimes in these test menus, you're gonna have to go to input assignments to see. Um, I think these other coin buttons. I think. 
maybe six and seven, maybe I have to press. Okay, yeah, six, six is taking me up and down. All right, set control, operator screen. So let me just, what do I, okay, operator screen. You would think maybe this, no, there's nothing, nothing good in here. Uh, special functions? No. All right, we're just gonna exit. And I'm gonna go to race driving, the cockpit version, the regular version. I didn't have these hyperspin themes, I had to go find them. And uh, I'm just using the same fade screen, so we're gonna be playing that one now. And this one will run better. And this, I took this off, I found this side art from the game and made this bezel. And I set this to the same 25 sensitivity for the steering wheel. I guess we're doing a super stunt track. And this, you, all right. And I noticed this, I think, be smoother. Maybe it'll be easier to play. Yeah, this feels easier to play, except for that. God damn it, maybe not. Okay, maybe forget what I just said. Oh, but this one has cheats. So I'll, I'll see how far I can get, and then I'll go again with, with, uh, with a cheat on to give me infinite time. Let's not hit the bar. Shit. Oh god. Oh, I, I couldn't tell. I thought this was um, a cliff side, but now we're good. Okay. As you may know, I own a Stunrunner cabinet. I would much rather play Atari Stunrunner than Atari Race Driver. Oh god. Oh fuck. Again. I did the same thing. It's so hard to control. Oh stop. I, I wonder if you can run those cows over. I should have tried. God, don't go there. Okay. Okay, let's... I don't know if we're gonna... Let's try to make that jump this time. I did better on Panorama. Oh, no, we, we, I, I, guess there's, I guess there's no way to, I don't know, maybe, okay, you just have to have, you have to do it diagonally or something, I don't know, alright, we're, now we're going to cheats, uh, infinite game time, there you go, uh, so, I guess I'll try the super stunt track again, Time is just gonna stay still. Now I'm not stressed out. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit the cows this time. God damn it. Crazy, that looks like a roller coaster over there. 
can't, but I don't have enough speed. Is there a key to um, to back up? I don't. There's a lot of shit here. No, I just see a brake, gas. I don't. You know, the shifter, and I, I'm not gonna fuck with the shift. And there's a clutch. If you start with manual, I think you have to hold the clutch down to start the car. Uh. I guess I'm just going by this now. I don't know. Oh, it says 90 mile. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe that was trying to tell you how fast. Oh, wait. There's no road. Wait, what? I crashed. Just... So you have to go that way? I want to go over this fucking giant hill. Oh my god! Oh fuck you! Well, it's doable. edge was what was working better, but I guess I was too far to the outside edge. Oh, come on. Now, I would be doing this in Panorama if it had cheats. But... Fuck! Unpack the graphics. Now that's what we were doing. Oh, there, I'm gonna pause it. I just wanna look at this. So there's that giant hill. There's the corkscrew. So after the corkscrew, you get to the giant hill. So it's the giant hill, then it's the finish. Hmm. The autocross track, I think, just looks like, uh, yeah, it just looks like it's boring. There's, there's nothing crazy there. And there's an original track. What's the only cool thing? The loop? Or maybe there's a jump. We'll just do the original. Because it doesn't, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to cut it. On that uh, super stunt track or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh shit. Oh god. Are there cows here? Oh yeah, there's a cow there. I'm gonna run into him. He didn't move. Oh, there, wait. What, did I not hit him? Okay, come here, you fucking cow. Oh shit. Okay. I'll just... Yeah, oh, look, look at this. Bam! So the steering wheel... Must have been pointed to the left. And uh, I have a, I'm a suicidal driver. Alright, let's point it a little bit more to the right. Okay, stop. 
So if you had a, if you had a real steering wheel versus a spinner, you'd actually you'd actually be able to tell that this thing is oh this thing's turned too far to the left. Now how do I do this without dying? Just skip, maybe my my speed shouldn't be too high, and then I'll make it. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Ah! God damn it. so great and then this game runs like shit and I think Stunrunner's older maybe Stunrunner uh, maybe maybe this has like real polygons and maybe Stunrunner doesn't I don't know I'll go to the stunt track because it's that cool Speed track is boring. I don't like that you can't see the turn. Stop. Please 
don't crash. God damn. So you really got to take that jump really gently. Obviously, we're going to this game, and we were just playing that game. And see, that's the uh, marquee that I I used to make the bezel. All right. Now, I'll hit F11 on this one. It's going to show it there. Right now, it says 0 out of 10. I don't want to do. I don't want to do a self test. Why are you going into that? three. Yeah, I don't want to be into this shit. Maybe I gotta hit F2. And there we go. Unpacking graphics. Okay. It still says 100% speed up there. Uh, I guess we'll go to Super Stunt Track. Now it's starting to, starting to drop frames. You can see it says eight out of 10 right now. So that means eight out of 10 frames. I don't, yeah, that means it's, it's, it's skipping eight out of 10 frames, I think. But the thing at the top says 97, 96. Maybe that, okay, I can't even remember now. Maybe it's, maybe that means I'm seeing eight out of 10 frames, not, because before it said auto zero out of 10, when it was at 100. So maybe this just means, Come on, go. Because it doesn't, this doesn't feel like it's like a huge difference, so maybe we're getting 8 out of 10. God damn it. Sometimes it's saying 5 out of 10, sometimes 6 out of 10, sometimes 7. I forgot. I forgot what it actually means. But yeah, the the, the thing that's kind of, it's kind of hard to see because of the bezel. The, the percent on the far right is in the 90s. Okay. 
Thanks for watching.